wake up. Will you keep a secret? Of course I will, Charlotte. Trust. It's one of the four main issues being debated here on day two of the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva, along with smart cities, health and satellite. Chris has more. Day two was all about transforming ideas into action projects. Experts from the private and public sectors huddled together in four breakthrough sessions to identify practical AI projects to solve global challenges. This is the health work stream. After all, good health is an absolutely fundamental basic human right, and AI applications can help save and improve the lives of hundreds of millions of people worldwide through emergency responses, AI-powered diagnostic tools, or predicting epidemics. AI has application in almost every facet in public health. In a way, what we are suggesting is that the very first starting point for countries to have a policy and government governance mechanisms for use of AI in public health. And starting that umbrella would allow uh, countries to understand how, you know, what are the places where they can actually um, manage the use of AI appropriately, including clinical care environment, for example, in decision making. Here's one simple example where AI is a win-win health solution. Atom360, which is an AI XPRIZE competitor, provides an application that uses AI on a camera phone to detect oral cancer. With the rapid growth of urban living, making cities smarter and more pleasant to live in has never been more important. This theme focused on how AI can foster smart governments and deliver AI-powered urban solutions and citizen services. Cities have a really strong role in democratizing artificial intelligence and data. Uh, first of all, cities are very close to citizens and we always say we should not start from technology. We shouldn't start from the technological challenges. We shouldn't start from sensors, AI, big data, connectivity, but we should start from real citizen needs. And we can uh, take on a more participatory approach, a more democratic approach, and work from citizen needs into the technological solution. Harnessing satellite imagery with AI is a very powerful tool for the future as it can map poverty, deforestation and agriculture and farming needs in remarkable detail and constantly. When you can see the whole earth every day, you not only see the signs of change, because we can see every field and every city and every forest everywhere every day. And not only do we see the signs of change, but really importantly, we see the pre-indicators of change, the things that happen before things go well and before they might go wrong. And that's the moment when we really most need to act to make sure that things do go well. And so AI is a critically important tool in helping us make sense of the world around us when combined with satellite imagery. Finally, there's trust. It's the glue that ensures all the benefits of AI are achieved. Whether it's big data or robotics, the users have to be sure AI is being used ethically and with the safeguards in place. First of all, industry has to be much more transparent. Secondly, we have to have public dialogue and at least a dialogue with representatives of the public. And third, I think we need to put a new form of agile governance in place, agile oversight. I don't mean government, but I mean agile oversight where it's put together by people who can function as good faith brokers, communicating with the media and communicating with the public. Behind me is the trust group all huddled together, but this is anything but a talk shop. In fact, the proposals that emerge from all four breakout sessions will be presented on day three, and the most promising ones will move forward. Stay tuned.